Today we're making the Fifth Amendment. It's got five ingredients. It's kind of prohibition style. It's pretty good. I don't, I don't know why it's called the Fifth Amendment. I don't know, I'm taking it. Yeah. Welcome to Combat Cocktails. I'm Derek, that's Ian. We're making a cocktail for you guys. I covered up the name. I think it's called Fifth Amendment. Yeah, it's the Fifth Amendment. Because it's in the top corner. What's it, the Fifth Amendment? The Fifth Amendment is your uh, right to uh, not incriminate yourself. Sounds good. I, I plead the fifth. I, oh, that's I'm right. Not gonna, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna, the fifth, yeah. There's, there's other parts to it, but that's the it's, what it's mostly known for is the right to not incriminate yourself with testimony. So I'm guessing that this drink is made so that you can drink it and not have to worry about incriminating yourself. Thank you for the submission, John Spikes. Or it's a pre-prohibition style cocktail. What prohibitionary? Well, cocktail. you're here. I mean, we've got all the stuff that makes this thing need a handlebar mustache. Um, so John sent me a link to punchdrink.com. So that's where you can find it. It's by Pint and Jigger. That's a cool name. I'm guessing it's a bar. Um, the recipe ingredients are as follows. One and three quarter ounce of bourbon whiskey. One quarter ounce of yellow chartreuse. A half ounce of Fernet Branca, the regular version. Uh, a half ounce of velvet, velvet falernum, which I don't have, so I'm just going to use falernum syrup. Two dashes of passion fruit bitters and a lemon peel as your garnish. Um, so a few things. Typically, you're going to stir this drink. In most cases, using a syrup like this, you would probably um, shake it, but it's not. It's, it's a half It's got ounce. no fruit juices either, so... No, this is the closest it's going to get. A velvet falernum is a falernum liqueur, or, you know, something that's got it's an alcohol base. Um, so this might be slight tad sweeter, maybe. Uh, for passion bitter, uh, passion fruit bitters, we're using Boy Drinks World. Quite frankly, I don't know if there is any other passion fruit bitters on the planet. If you talk to Adam Elmagrib, who does Adam's bitters, which I don't care anymore on AustinDrakes.com, um, he'll tell you that you can't make a passion fruit bitter. It's impossible. But he's also a dick. So um, there's that, which is why I... How would using green chartreuse change the flavor profile? Using green chartreuse will change the flavor. Great question! If you use green chartreuse, it's going to taste very similar, but it's going to be a little bit more. Do you want to keep that? Uh, no. <laughs> a little bit more herbal. Um, now, do you da do a dash like this is a dash? That's one dash. So you want two full. One dropper full. So you take it and you, put the you whole press the thing in, you put it in, you suck it up, and that's a right. dash. Um, the question was. Oh yeah, so green is going to give it more of a, a herbal flavor. The yellow is a little bit more timid. Uh, I don't know how much it's difference the recipe makes because they don't publish the recipes because it's like a monk traditional thing from like billions of years ago. Uh, if you have green, I would use green. It calls for yellow. I happen to not even have green anymore because it's gone. Um, I think either would be pretty safe given the small amount, even though it yeah. is a powerful flavor. It, you on know its what? Own. To me, it's sort of like saying, yeah. why would you use Blanco tequila over Reposado? Reposado is yeah. going to give you a little bit more inherent flavor. It's going to be a little bit more aggressive on the flavor given, profile. Given the fact there's a quarter ounce in a, uh, in a, whole a three drink. ounce drink, it's probably not going to have as much of an impact. Yeah, it, it probably it may, would if it didn't have flair in it. It may have a very subtle impact, but. Uh, this also, the passion fruits are a subtle impact. I love passion fruit. It is a little bit bitter though, a lot of bit bitter. This is, kind of tastes like Starburst candy. Um, Jay Spikes is in the chat room. Oh, he is? So he's so, probably... Yeah, yeah, I thought this sounded good. <laughs> he, he submitted 90% of the drinks this month. So. Now, if you want to get past root bitters, very popular actually, uh, Boy Drinks rolled the... Um, the uh, oh, oh, his name's escaping me, so it's a name that's not normal sounding name. Um, Zaphod. <laughs> You had to go to the books. No. Um, Ford Prefect. Yes. It, it, whatever his name is, I'm sorry, but Boy Drinks World is a great brand. He has three products. He has a Walnut Bitters, which he recently re recently released. It's a lot of R's. This is his most popular. This is Serrano Cocktail Spice. If you like hot, spicy uh, bitters, the Serrano is hugely popular. More with bars, though, than um, normal humans. Most of our customers are buy like four to six of them at a time. We do get a couple every now and then, but don't mind the figures. He's do, he's we'll doing do very well with his marketing because these are one of our I would think one of our better selling bidders compared to like even fee nowadays. So Mary twenty is the coupon code. Save 20 percent off at AustinDrakes.com to the end of December. It's good. Is this in frame and everything's cool with that? Yeah. Oh sweet. Can I drink it now? It's a good, good time to ask. Ooh, good yeah. time. <laughs> the lemon is hugely important here. 
You know why? Yeah, because it's right on the top, and it's just giving me lemon everywhere. Well, that I, I, I rubbed it on the inside of the glass. Did you rub it on me? I didn't see. Dan. <laughs> <laughs> You're just looking for outtakes, aren't you? I'm, I'm an outtake hunter. Yeah. That's what I am. <laughs> Hunting outtakes. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't mm. think green would kill this. No. It might give it a little bit more of a eucalyptus flavor. This is flavor. a good sipper. This reminds me of like a Sazerac. Mm. I think it's a black, there's a little bit of a black licorice, oh wait. For that. So For eucalyptus, a little black black licorice, herbal. This is herbal, mm, but it's not as herbal good. as you think it would be. I like This it. should be so much stronger it's because. It's almost like a Sazerac minus the absinthe plus some Benedictine. Yeah, we have a drink with Benedictine this month too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, I want to, I, I want to all out. Um, and actually, yeah. these are mostly John. So. We used for this four rows of single barrel. I was going to use the 120 Knob Creek, but I was like, that might be too aggressive. Then I realized that this is 56.2, so it's up in the 112s. Right? Something like that. Yeah. Six and six is 12, so. Yeah, we did the math before. We, somebody did the math before. <laughs> it's good. strong. Memory's good. It's not 80. And it's. Nothing's oh, leaking out there. No. It's good. And, and even with the, with the lemon. This was a Drink Up New York special. I love this stuff, which is why I still have it. It goes back to like not drinking stuff you really like right. or not gifts you don't want to open. Or if you get something that's like a signed bottle or something. Yeah, I have uh, a signed Geneva bottle. Or you get like the old world. Uh, get some Geneva cocktails. What's the old world? Uh, uh, Whistle Pig old world. Yeah. Oh, I started that. Oh, I have a bottle of that. They had a little bottle because it's a... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really expensive. But you don't want to drink it. Yeah. $130. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't drink a $130 bottle. Uh, so my point is, this is strong. This drink doesn't have the intensity that I thought it would, considering the potency. It's got a lot of herbal in there, which is really nice. Is the nice. sweetness the only noticeable difference between velvet falernum and falernum syrup in a cocktail? I don't know, because I've never had velvet falernum. I just looked at the ingredients. Stole my answer. I was going to say the exact same thing. What? You don't know? I've never, yeah, I don't know. I've uh, yeah. never had velvet falernum. I would like to have it, but I can't get it. And that's the problem. So my guess, based on the fact that this is, the base of this is sugar. And the base of any other alcohol is more like the alcohol. Um, even a liqueur, which has a lot of sugar, like these guys, lots of sugar, but they also, that one actually doesn't have as much as like some rums, but they have sugar, but it's not their base. This is sugar. You have two things that can dip, pull, extract flavor. Well, you have a couple, but two being alcohol and sugar. Oils. Right. Oil. And sugar can extract oils. Right. As we learned from our oleosaccharine oh, oleos. experimentations. Right. So my theory is velvet falernum is going to be less sweet because its base is going to be based on a less sweet product. Now you have to find a video That's with awesome. oleosaccharum in it. So we... Do we have an oleosaccharum video? I don't know. You're going to have to look now that I mentioned it. <laughs> uh, I've made oil. It's pretty good. It's it tasty. It yeah. just takes a long time. Uh, you have a vacuum thing, right? You can do it with? Do yeah. The... No, yeah, but when we did it, we did a vacuum it. Seal? We, we just did the, leave it did set. The okay, yeah, I did the same thing. Time. Time gets it out. Not time, the herb. But time. time. Time, the thing that Pink Floyd time. talks about. Um, producer, <laughs> Curtis <laughs> Obermeyer. Don't sing, they'll Are we going to demonetize if I sing I'm a song? I'm still getting demonetization <laughs> notes from the live streams of 2015. I got two this week. So stupid. Uh, but nobody's watching them anyway, so who cares yeah, yeah, at this point? Uh, yeah. That's, that's really right. Okay, so can you donate to the channel through YouTube? Yes. If you're in the live stream, you could be able to donate using the little dollar sign thing, which is called Super Chat. Bing! Uh, the other way is you can donate just straight through Patreon. Patreon.com slash CMC, just like Chris Obermeyer did. Or another way to directly donate is to buy something at Austin Drinks. You can either buy something at Austin Drinks, saving 20% off using Mary20, or if you're into video games, you go to Steam. And you can download Dungeon Rustlers. That's the video game we're working on that we're going to be launching at the end of the month. It's an early access. It's going to cost you like $4.99. Seriously. Not if you like video yeah. games, you don't even have to like the game. It's $5. Now, I could name 100 things that I don't like that cost me $5. I could name 100 things that the I don't D &D like that cost me $100. Right. Yeah, I know. So, think about it. Five. That's how, that's how you support us. bought for $100. <laughs> What'd you buy for $100? I, I'm just saying I could list a bunch oh. of things that I've paid $100 for that I like less than yeah. a $5 game, I'm sure. Like that Spanish chick back in uh, Mexico? <laughs> <laughs> that was We're 500 pesos. About that. DL, so that didn't count. DL means down low. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, over the border. No, oh. Derek, look. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, Ian, why are you putting your penis in there? Yeah, I know. That's anyway. crusty. <laughs> <laughs> we just do a one-liner. Yeah, you just love to shout out things. When... 
they're banging a Mexican hooker. It's, it's inappropriate, is what it is. There's a time and a place, and that's not that's not the time and place. That was used. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, good times. Busted right. ravioli. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, talk about a street taco. <laughs> if, you, if you want to hear more, it's the only one. It's the only vagina that has an emoji. Um, there is no ravioli emoji. So sidebar, right. more videos. Cause you, I mean, why wouldn't you want more? Whatever that just happened. That's it. Yeah. J King. We're teaching you how to drink. <laughs>